Okay, getting ready to make my first batch of beer ever. Got me a Brewer's Best Deluxe Kit. Kind of everything you need. I added a couple goodies. Hydrometer, a couple thermometers. I'm going to make American Cream Ale. Never done this before. First time. Malts. Hops. Williamettes. Corn sugar. And we're going to use this for my fruit cake. Okay. My water is, we're working it up to a boil. Got my ingredients laid out. My brewing chart. And we got the LME sitting here, the liquid malt extract. I'm just soaking it in warm water here. I guess I should pull it out of there soon. I think it might only be cardboard. Uh, no, it is metal. And that's to uh, warm it so it'll pour easier. And then I mixed up. Um, two teaspoons of sanitizer with three gallons of water. And I stirred it up. It's an iodine based sanitizer which is why it's red. And then sanitize everything. It says to put it in there for two minutes. The hydrometer, thermometer and everything. Uh, basically room temperature water. And you can let it air dry. I'm just going to let it sit until I'm ready to dump it. I shook it around the uh, fermenter bucket there. Got the lid and everything to let it do that so that's all sterilized when it's time to take that off the stove in about an hour and a half. Okay, I've added the liquid malt extract. I have added the first package of hops and I gotta roll boil this for 40 minutes. And then I'll add the sugar, the Pilsen dry malt extract, all three pounds, two pounds, I'm sorry. Meantime, if you don't stir this word it foams up pretty good. So right now I think I got a, a decent rolling boil. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Boiling the word. Okay, now we've added two pounds of the light Pilsner dry malt extract and one pound of corn sugar per the recipe. And we gotta stir it for I let it boil and I've been stirring the whole time for five minutes uh, or so. That's going to be a little longer because I'm just getting my boil back. It takes it. Anyway, then the last step I'll add one more ounce of the Williamette hops. Uh, stir that. We'll boil for five more minutes and then it's time to cool our wort. Wort. Beer maker. I am not a beer maker. You are now. Yep. Okay, now we're done with the boil. We're cooling the wort got to cool to approximately 70 degrees so best way I could think of right now nice and cold and snowy out here use that to my advantage I have no clue how long this is gonna take so I'll be checking on it from time to time got to keep it covered unfortunately which slows the cooling process there we'll do that uh, just simply to keep the snow and any contaminants out because any bacteria that gets in there will spoil my work make it taste funny all right, we've chilled our work to, uh, got it down to right around 70 degrees per the recipe. Um, I think it was actually a tad colder by the time I got it in here. Um, topped it off with water to bring our level up to about five gallons. Uh, I did a hydrometer reading to check the uh, uh, starting gravity. Uh, per the recipe, this one is supposed to be between 1.049 and 1.053 and I was reading right around 1.35 and 1.4 so I'm a little bit thin I think I might have added a tad too much water on that last bit uh, my first time so anyway then you uh, once it's there I pitch the yeast you stir it well again per the recipe uh, put on this lid snaps on real tight uh, filled my airlock halfway with water Kind of wiggled that in, and now I'm going to store it uh, in a cool, dark place. Approximately 62 degrees. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, now I've made more sanitizer. Got all my airlock in there, my uh, uh, carboy bung. And I sanitized my uh, auto siphon here. I just popped the seal on this uh, wort. It's been fermenting since last Sunday, so a week. Uh, really, it was kind of done fermenting and bubbling on uh, uh, Wednesday, so three and a half days. Anyhow, auto siphon, 
I'm transferring the wort slowly, not aerating it. Uh, get it into my five gallon carboy and I'm gonna let it ferment for another week. Even though the, the brew instructions that came with this kit say you don't have to do that, all the recommendations I've read online and, and from talking to the brew store and uh, in the books, they say um, secondary fermentation is always recommended. It'll make the, the beer clearer, uh, you know, some better clarity, basically. Um, more uh, mellow on the flavor. So that's what I'm doing. So there it is. Five gallon glass carboy. Auto siphon doing its thing slowly. Uh, we're going to leave the troop in the bottom of the bucket and uh, see you in another week. Something I neglected to mention, just elevating it obviously, you know, physics, gravity, that type of thing. Makes your carboy fill up a lot faster. Um, I was just doing that so I could get good light on it so you can see it, but now you can see. Put it up on a chair like that and it's, it's filling up uh, a lot more rapidly. Okay, uh, we have mixed the five ounces of dextrose priming sugar with two cups of boiling water. Let it boil for five minutes. Uh, we started racking our liquid down, which obviously you're following it down, right? And the reason she's doing it that way is so we don't pull up the sediment. We're gonna go as far as we can down, then we're gonna tilt the carboy a little bit, get as much as we can without getting that trub or true, whatever they call it right there. Anyway, the priming sugar, will reactivate the yeast to carbonate the beer. Uh, we got sanitizer going here, which is uh, our bottling wand. I've already sanitized everything else. Then we got these bottle crates I built, and uh, I'm gonna put the bottles in the solution and start sanitizing them, and then we'll start filling and capping. Uh, caps are sitting here. Um, specific gravity is a little off, according to the chart. My original gravity was a little low, 1.035 instead of 1.04. And then today I'm getting 1.010, which is right where it should be, but it says it's only like 3.28% or 1.2% something alcohol. So I don't know what happened there. The numbers. Anyway, more later, racking it into the bottling bucket. beer that I bottled. perfect headspace again. And up here, we got our caps. I've never used a cap before. I'm supposed to practice, but I did not. Shocker. Put your caps on. We got the economy cap right here that just goes in the middle. It's supposed to fit right on somehow. And then we, like that. I'm not sure of the tension, like I said, so it grabs the bottle, smashes the sides, compresses the center. And there you go, my first three beers. Then we'll, uh, we'll wipe the bottles eventually, we'll put them into the crates, 
We'll let them bottle condition for two weeks and make that old carbonate with the priming sugar that I added a little bit ago. The yeast will start eating again and instead of everything going out the airlock, it's gonna go into the beer and then the beers are gonna go into the crate. And then someday we'll have logos when my designer's not so busy. <laughs> okay, so the beer's bottle condition for just about two weeks, about 13 days. Then I've chilled it. You want to get it nice and cold. Once you've chilled it down, nice clarity, hard to tell here. But now it's time to do our first taste test. Okay, time to open it. Brewer's Best American Cream Ale. It's a good sign. Some carbonation. Good color. Carbonation's not bad. Give it another week or two, and it'll be really heavy. Clarity's not bad. I know you can't see it in the video. There you go. Brewer's Best American Cream Ale, start to finish.